So I'm going to show you how to properly remove and insert, reinsert the bobbin, as well as talking about the two different types of bobbins that we can use. These are always going to be M size bobbins. If you look down in here, this is where our bobbin's at. I'm going to open the arm on the bobbin, the lever, and remove the bobbin. So our bobbins, when inserted properly, and you pull the tail, the string that's sticking out, that bobbin should spin counterclockwise. We don't want it to go clockwise. So opening is at the top. I'm holding it with my first finger and my thumb, pulling the tail, and the bobbin is spinning counterclockwise. So that is correct. To put the bobbin back in the bobbin case, I'm going to turn it around. The opening's at the top. We do not need to open up this lever. We're going to simply hold the bobbin in our hands, keeping the opening at the top, insert it, Push with your thumb or finger until it clicks. Once you hear that click, you know the bobbin is inserted properly. Two different types of bobbins. We have our metal case, which are used to spin your own bobbins. Okay. Then we have our pre-wounds. We highly recommend using Superior Super Bob pre-wound bobbins. Um, they are a finer thread than what we're using on top. They come in an array of colors. The one thing that we um, have found is that they're designed for less lint and they're actually designed by a quilter. So these are really, really nice. But if you decide that they don't come in the right size or right color, um, M size, um, but you want to spin your own or you prefer to spin your own, you can purchase uh, from Superior thread. It is called Bottom Line. Bottom Line is a thread that is used to spin their they're pre -wounds. So we want to spin our own bobbins, we would use the metal case to do so. Again, we highly recommend using superior uh, thread for doing that. It's a bottom line thread or the su super bobs. Also, the case, the actual case that's holding the bobbin, I'm going to reach in here and show it to you with the bobbin out. Should you need, and you should have some extras of these, this is your bobbin case. Okay. Should you need extras or um, have an issue that um, your bobbin's just not working properly, you want to use bobbins and bobbin cases, bobbin cases and bobbins that you've purchased from the manufacturer, which would be Martelli's. Uh, do the different manufacturing tolerances. It's strongly recommended that you always purchase your bobbins and bobbin cases from the manufacturer. That way you, it ensures that you've got the, uh, the proper case and bobbin that will work in your machine. Um, so also while we're down here, you're going to want to look in here, make sure you don't have any threads, um, any fibers or lint in there. Keep that kind of, you know, lint free dust out in there with a brush. If for some reason you're using your machine and you have where the needle will be jammed in the, in the not jammed, but stuck in the down position and you cannot move the needle in the up position. You're going to simply power the machine off and then to pull that needle back up, use your manual knob up top. We're going to push down on it and we always spin this counterclockwise. That will bring your needle back into the up position. One thing that can happen is if the presser foot is raised too high, the needle can get stuck down there and just not want to come up in the uh, the up position. That's a fail safe option on the Martelli machine, but it's not an issue. You haven't caused as long as you don't have any needle breakage or anything like that. Everything should still be in working order.